Am I the butthole for calling a woman crazy and threatening to kidnap her son? In 2019, my 40M son, 18M, went on a trip with some friends, one of the kids' parents owned a large cabin and all of them went there for the weekend, all boys, about 10 in total. My son was out to his friends at the time and came out to me a few months later. Yesterday one of the boys from that trip, I'll call them F, made a post on their story, it was a video of him and my son kissing and making out. With the caption hey, remember this? Apparently on the trip a game of truth and dare got a little intense, and this friend was dared to kiss my son. Normally what the boys post on their social media stays between them but one of the parents saw the vid, recorded it and started sending it to all the parents. And it eventually made its way to me and F's mom, she freaked out. She immediately called me and asked to speak parent to parent. F is by and after he came out she basically begged him to not tell anyone, his friends already knew, and after seeing the video, she is convinced that my son made him gay. She wanted to know what I was going to do about it. I was genuinely confused and asked her what she meant, she asked how me and my son intend to help fix F. I called her crazy, and told her there was nothing to fix, I then told her if she didn't love F for who he is, I would always make a space for him at my house, he's a close friend of my son and is around often. She then started screaming at me, accusing me of trying to kidnap F and make him fully gay, while he is still fixable. She has now been telling people that I verbally abused her, called her crazy and insane, and threatened to come and take F away. I've had a lot of people, mostly parents, telling me that I'm TA for how I treated her and that I shouldn't interfere with things that don't involve me. Now I know 100%, that she is the butthole for the things she said about my son and F, but I'm starting to think I might also be TA for the way I handled it, I probably shouldn't have yelled and may have just made it worse for F. So am I the butthole? Edit, spelling. Edit 2, I took your guy's advice and told F, directly that he was welcome to stay with me. It turns out that he hasn't been home since the video started going round the parents. So he is currently in my living room watching a movie with me and my son. F is 18, legal adult, and is going to be staying with us. Also, I guess I should stop calling him F and start calling him boyfriend, because apparently the vid from two years ago isn't the only time they've kissed. We are going to try to get some of his stuff tomorrow, if not, we'll go out and buy him clothes and stuff. Thanks you all so much, if it wasn't for you I wouldn't have realized how much trouble F was actually in and might have not contacted him. Not the butthole. F's mom is just homophobic to the point of insanity. You might want to check local laws regarding recording phone conversations and then record any phone convos you have with this psycho to protect yourself against further nuttiness and claims of mistreatment. You absolutely did the right thing by offering your support to F, if his own mom can't love and accept him for who he is I'm glad someone can. Make him fully gay, while he is still fixable on getting very strong indications of bat crap crazy too. I'm pretty sure that isn't how this works at all. WTF. Because being gay is something that totally needs to be fixed. Shaking my damn head I don't get people. It's almost as if the mom thinks she can buy some kind of gay away cream. To be honest it's something that fascinates me because of how little sense it makes, to me anyway. If someone says so and so is gay, so I hate them, what they are really saying is I am imagining what they get up to in private, and I don't like what I'm seeing. Oh my god. Perhaps I'm better off not understanding. It's almost as if the mom thinks she can buy some kind of gay away cream. Like being gay? More like being gay, unamused face, sad. I wish I had an award for you. Please take my poor person's gold, sports medal, edit, wow, my first gold award. Thank you kind stranger. Bane gay. She'd likely buy it by the case. Bravo and well played. If I were a betting man it'd put a whole lot of money on her being super religious and the cure being Jesus. Pray the gay away. I'm not into bets but I know Jesus is down with the gays. He's a bloody system buster who loves the unwanted. Jesus is my man. In my 17th century lit class last week we all basically agreed that Jesus was hella gay himself, effed all his disciples, and had a foot fetish. God made gay just like he made straight, it's only common sense that Jesus would love them, yeah? My grandma, who was the most religious lady I have ever known, 
prayed at least twice a day every day and would be 97 this year if she was still around firmly believed this actually. God made gay people so of course he loves them. My wife's grandma was like that too. Apparently one of her church friends asked her about it, implying that God wanted her to be homophobic, and she said my God is not small. I love that woman so much. He's much of what evangelicals hate, a Middle Eastern socialist Jew who hangs with the dregs of society. No, it sounds like she was going to try conversion therapy, which is actually torture according to the Human Rights Council and happens to too many kids in America and the world. Like one would be too many, but it's truly sickening. This is a crisis. Ask her if her son is getting enough vitamin D. He needs more D. Oh no. I fell over and sprained my hetero so now I've got the gay, crying face, crying face. Actually, this is exactly how it works. If my mom had forced me to wear frilly pink dresses and kiss boys as soon as I showed an affinity for flannel and short hair, I might have been straightened. But she waited too long and I'm half gay forever now. Sad. Right? I put rainbow leggings on my kid when they were a tiny baby. And now they're in middle school and super queer. Oh my fault. You'd be surprised. I'm a bi chick married to a dude, and the amount of people that think that I chose a side, or that me dating a bunch of chicks was a phase. Nah dude. My husband and I just check out women together now. While he is still fixable. That is terrifying. Thank God they are 18. This sounds like the kind of person to send off their children to conversion therapy or other abusive camps to make them straight. Yeah, just keep the bed and chair in your dining table ready for the poor guy. Sadly I have a feeling that he will need a place to stay after his parents realize he can't be fixed. As a gay person I want to say thank you for defending F not the butthole and please keep true to what you said for him because he's going to need all the help he can get with a mother like that. Ah. Look at the update, 3. It's adorable. Not the butthole. She reached out to you. You didn't initiate this. Your kid played a game of gay chicken and... Lost? One? I don't know. Either way, not your problem what the other kid does with his life. Now if they did truth or dare and one of them ended up a meth addict that is a different story. I'm going to say they won gay chicken on this. Now I want chicken. Thanks a lot. Sorry but my brain immediately went to old commercial. Web link. I don't know how you said it but the contain is clearly not the butthole. This kid might be in danger with his mother. She might send him to be re-educated. Make sure your son tells him that F is welcome to your house. You are a good father and a supportive person. This is true as conversion therapy still exists. Original poster should watch out for this and make sure F is safe from psycho mom. Original poster is male, bud. Not the butthole as someone who has come out to a not supportive parent it means so much to see people willing to help when kids parents are being abusing, yes I do think the concept of trying to fix LGBT people abuse. I will be a surrogate mom if you need one. I appreciate it. Thankfully my mom came around though it took until I was in my 30s to properly be able to move past it. The Human Rights Council agrees with you. It's actually torture, no hyperbole, not a metaphor. Real, actual, literal torture. Mostly parents, telling me that I'm TA for how I treated her and that I shouldn't interfere with things that don't involve me. It was your cabin, your son, and she called you. You're involved. Not the butthole. She's one of those pray the gay away people. I think you handled it just fine. You expressed that there's nothing wrong with her son and that he has people who will accept him for who he is. Don't interfere. All the interfering parents. And she called you. You're involved. Exactly. She called him to specifically ask him to interfere, he just didn't interfere the way she wanted him to. Um can we address the parent that recorded the video of two minors kissing and sent that round, WTF? Would they have done that if it was a video of two kids from the opposite genders? Why are they recording minors slash barely legal teenagers? 
Why are they watching what minors and barely legal teenagers are doing on their social pages? Damn that parent needs to be called out for a, not letting kids be kids and do kids things, like joke about people making out during truth and dare, b, for trying to stir crap c, being predatory and creepy as f. Why were the other parents sharing this video around, did they think that was okay, why aren't they all too busy surviving the pandemic to be gossiping about kids? Not the butthole for what you asked about, I think you just need to expressly tell these parents, hey, she accused my son of turning her son gay and she thinks her son needs to be fixed cause he's bi. We support Lukia in my household and we would never abandon a teenager for being gay, so I told her her son is always welcome in my household. Where do you stand on this, do you think gay people need to be fixed? Would you abandon and throw out your own child? Cause it's coming across like you support F's mum's viewpoint, which I find concerning. Oh F, I didn't even realize that the parent had actually record and distributed video of minors and sexualizing minors. There's nothing wrong with teens making out, but being probably about 40 and seeing two male teens kissing and just think oh my god. They must be gay, everyone needs to know. Is effed up. Frankly, if somebody sent such thing to me, my response would be what is wrong with you. Even if they were both straight, who gives a F, it's effing truth or dare, kissing slash making out with someone regardless of gender is a classic dare. I was looking for this comment. I don't know if distributing a video of teens making out is illegal, but there is definitely a gray area since it was distributed with intent to cause harm. If I were original poster, I would be getting the police involved for sexualizing images of my underage child and distributing them to adults. Not the butthole original poster. You're doing great and your son and boyfriend are very lucky to have you. Yes. Then original poster will know who to drop as friends based on their response. YTA for not sending her the anti-gay spray. It's the same stuff as the anti-monster spray that parents get, not the butthole when dealing with this level of crazy, it's hard to control your reaction. We use the unscented Febreze with my, now, 7 yo. Spray the closet, under the bed, anywhere the monsters might be hiding. Not the butthole calling her crazy didn't help your stance but with everything else I think you were spot on. That is crazy to ask to repair her son. I don't know if I would have enough self-control to not do the same. She is crazy though. Absolutely unhinged mental state in that woman. Not the butthole. 18 years old or not, it sounds like F is in danger of getting shoved into a white van in the middle of the night by his parents. Is there a way you and your son can contact him privately and try to cone up with a plan to make sure he's safe? MITA for yelling at a bigot and offering a safe space to someone of a marginalized community in my own home? Wow, this sounds like a tough one all right. Absolutely not the butthole whatsoever. You are accepting and loving your son and his friend unconditionally and are offering his friend a safe space to be his true self without judgment. You are trying to ensure that the friend does not have to deal with his mother's abuse. Not only are you not the butthole, you are a hero. Please do not doubt yourself. If anyone is the butthole it is the mother for her intolerance and hostility. Hey original poster, good on you. If you're okay with taking a little cash to help with buying clothes, if you can't get his, message me privately with your PayPal and I'll try to send something over. My family treated my brother like absolute trash back when he, assigned female at birth, came out as gay, and then later came out as male, FTM. I've always hated that I was in the military, on the other side of the world, when that happened, and hate to hear things like this. Kind of hits a soft spot with me, so I'd like to help a little. Oh, and definitely not the butthole. Original poster replies. Oh my, that's way too kind. But I will have to turn it down, I have a well-paying job and up until now it's just been me and my son, so I have a fair bit saved. I wouldn't feel comfortable taking it. Use it to take your brother to get ice cream or something, if that's possible, and tell him that a stranger on the internet hopes he has a wonderful day. I completely understand, and no worries. I just thought I'd offer, dash, I'll pass on the sentiments next time I see him, dash, he and his wife have asked me to help them have children, and I've agreed. It won't be for a while, 
next year at the earliest, but even though we were born years apart and assigned different genders at birth, we look nearly identical as grown men. The hope is that my genes will give them a child that at least resembles him in some way, whether that's our nose, laugh, or our epic beards, laughing out loud. Not the butthole. You are a wonderful person. You said in the comment that you don't need help with dollar for clothes or anything, so I just donated $30 to the in honor of user distinct ad 8638 and son, and f. Thank you for helping this kid. Web link. Reddit link. You stepped up like a real parent should, and offered sanctuary to someone who may be in danger. You should be proud of yourself, your son will certainly be proud of you. Not the butthole. Great work. Not the butthole and if F is 18, your son need to tell him that he has a safe place at your home ASAP. She sounds crazy enough to kick him out or send to conversion therapy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.